All right. Um, so for this problem, what we need to do is uh, we need to make it look, well, first of all, we need to determine what kind of parabola we're going to have. So when we look at our parabolas, remember, we need to look at what variable is being squared. If our x is being squared, then we know that we're going to have a vertical parabola, meaning it's going to open up or open down, or we're going to have a vertical line of symmetry. If we have our y is squared, we're going to have a horizontal parabola with an either opening left or right. So we look at this problem, we see which variable is going to be squared, which is the x. x squared, right? Very good. So therefore, first thing we know is this is going to be a vertical axis of symmetry, a vertical parabola, right? So you're going to open up or open down. The next thing we need to do is write it in standard form. This does not look like it's in that standard form. Right? So to write it in our uh, standard form, we have x minus h squared equals 4p um, y minus, minus h. OK? Got it? So we just determine what it is, vertical or horizontal. Then you apply what the formula is. So just write it down. Now we need to make this look like that. Okay, so we got to do a little transformation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm multiplying this by 1 fourth. I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to get rid of multiplying by 1 fourth. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 4 over 1, or just 4. So then what I obtain is 4y equals x squared minus 2x plus 5. Okay? Then I'm going to do a little bit of work. I'm just going to get the x's on the left side so it looks like more on this. And I'm going to put the y's on the other side. So I'm going to rewrite this. And I'm going to put this 5 with the y's. Because if you notice, this x, it just has the x squared on the side. There's no other numbers with there except for that h. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this as um, x squared minus 2x equals 4y minus 5. What I did was I subtracted 5 on both sides, and then I swapped, swapped the equation. I did kind of like two steps in a row. Is that OK? No. I yeah. just yes, swapped yes, them, yes. and then I subtracted 5 on the other side. All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we come up to our favorite part in mathematics is we see this. We have an x squared minus 2x, and we want it to, make, we want it to look like an, um, a squared binomial. So to do that, we have to complete the square. So remember, we take our b, which is negative 2, b divided by 2, squared. Huh? Yeah. Okay. See ya. So you take b divided by 2 squared. In this case, we have negative 2 divided by 2, which is 1. Negative 1. Negative 1 squared is equal to 1, right? So now I need to make sure I add 1 on both sides. So I add what I completed my square, divided by 2, squared it, add it to both sides. Then what I notice is now I can write, by completing the square, you can now rewrite it as your, um, this is a first square trinomial, you can now write it as x, geez, x minus 1 squared. All right, so when I factor that, it goes to x minus 1 squared. I can combine these to be a 4y minus 4. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Then, still, I want to make it look like this. We have this in that form, right? We have x minus the number squared. Here, still not in this form. So what I can do is I can factor out a 4. x minus 1 squared equals 4y minus 1. So therefore, 4p, this is equal to that. So I can say 4p equals 4. And to solve for p, I divide by 4 on both sides. p equals 1. <laughs> it's a little 1. There we go. Oh, so p equals 1. So now my final thing when I was want to write this is, like so, I'll just waste some more marker. 4 times 1 right. times y minus 1. Square. 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 Thank you. So now, is this everything that's in that format? Yes. So once I have everything that's in that form, 
group. Now what I can do is simply find my vertex and my focus and my directrix. So the vertex, remember, is equal to h comma k from your standard form. So I look at here, and remember these are the opposites of h and k. So here you're going to take that opposite value, which is going to be a positive 1 and a positive 1. So my vertex is going to be 1 comma 1. Right? Up here it's negative h, negative k, so here you're going to take the opposites, h and k. Okay? Yeah. Then to find the focus, since this is vertical, we're going to our Let's just take a look at it. H comma K plus um, we know this goes through 1 comma 1, right? So right there. So either my graph goes like this, or my graph goes down, right? Well, it says P, which is 1. What does P represent? Does anybody remember what P represents? P represents the what? The positive value, or P, is going to represent the distance from your focus. When you add P, right, when you add P, to your so um, go vert up. when you add it to your ver the what well, when you add it to your vertex it's going to go up one unit since p is positive one I'm going to add it to one which is going to go to two so since my That's graph is vertical two. I'm going to be adding p to the y coordinate of my vertex which should go up so h comma k plus p one, h is one and then k is one plus p is one so it'd be two so I get one comma two. So therefore, I know that my focus, my graph is gonna open up so I don't have this parabola. Then my directrix is going to be the y equals k minus p. So y equals zero. So my directrix is going to be the x-axis in, in this case. And that's a very horrible parabola, but you guys at least get the sketch of what's gonna look like and at least you can see the vertex focus and directrix. Any questions? Courtney, you got it? No? Yeah. Right. Yes? Where did you get the one from? Like, one for which one? The green where you put plus one. Uh, that was from the plane square. square. Yeah. That was that one. Okay. And then the vertex. Wait. Go ahead. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about you. Why are you laughing? <laughs>